Do you think it's okay that our kids are being exposed to stuff that, as parents, we're not aware of? Welcome to my channel. I am Basic Blue. On this channel, I talk about politics and all kinds of stuff that other people don't seem to want to talk about. But for some reason, I just find it incredibly important <laughs> to bring these topics up. In this video, we're going to be talking about is it okay uh, to have certain things in your school district that, you know, you might not be aware of, right? Uh, specifically, this is from Libs of TikTok. Oh, cue the, cue the music. District votes to keep a pornographic book available for children. Now, upon editing this video, I'm going to have to remember to blur out the images because, <laughs> well, I think I can keep the image on the right. Technically, that's not pornographic, but the image on the left is definitely. Uh, it's a cartoon, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Salem-Kaiser School District in Oregon has been in hot water after parents discovered that a pornographic book, Gender Queer, was available in the school library. The school formed a special committee headed by a woman named Suzanne West to determine if the book should be removed. West's job description reads, Crafting and developing strategies that support the district's movement to become more anti-racist and anti-oppressive school system. Sounds good on the surface. Sure, let's keep going. The committee voted last week to keep the book, which we'll get into. But first, take a look at some of the explicit content found in Gender Queer. I'm going to have to do a little edit point here because I'm going to have to <laughs> scroll upwards and then I'll <laughs> reapply the effect. So I'm going to try to describe as best as I can what is in each of these images while still maintaining a PG-13 rating, I think. I don't know. This is, yeah, it's probably more than that. Sorry. Uh, the one on the left is um, a particular sexual practice uh, between what appears to be two males, and one of them seems to be expressing disappointment that it doesn't feel quite as good as he thought it would, you know? like. Oh, that's okay. Just keep on doing it. The second one on the right seems to be indicating uh, that it's going to probably not be very pleasant to wear a binder and that eventually you're, you're going to feel as though you're not comfortable in your skin, which implies top surgery, perhaps. <sighs> that one in particular, I, I, <laughs> I almost find more offensive than the other images, particularly because it's it's showing like a reptile, like a snake, shedding its skin. You know, as if to imply that you're a snake. I mean, am I the only one that doesn't see that? Uh, the one on the bottom left is describing a, a particular item that you can buy for self-pleasuring. I don't understand why kids need to be educated about this. It's, it, it doesn't make any sense. It seems like if, well, if it manifests on its own, then why is there education about it? it what? <laughs> the next one. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to get <laughs> that one. Uh, let's just say that they're very, um, they're, you know, they're not something that you'd want kids to be reading. Like, I mean, the other thing that comes to mind here is why does it seem so specific, uh, so specific, let's say, if I can say the word right, why does it seem so specific uh, just for this sort of crowd that it's like, you, you have like explicit stuff here and yet, like, I guess if you're straight, you don't need explicit stuff. Are we putting like a Playboy right next to this book, you know? Whatever this is, I guess this is a, like a comic book, a graphic novel, I think is how they're describing it. I don't understand. Like, you seem to imply that if people don't know about this, well, geez, it's like oppressing them or something. No, you, the only way that you, you're going to spread awareness of a movement is you have to, you know, change the media. Okay, if you guys haven't noticed, I, I kind of rail upon that subject. People don't think of books as a type of media, right? You, when you hear the word media, you think about video, like this video right here, you know, smash that like button, right? But are books a type of media? Well, sure. You know, are they a type of older media? Absolutely. 
The Bible is a type of media. You know, if you read the Bible every day versus this, do you like, do you understand that that's going to affect your thinking? Okay, it does. And so when you allow this sort of thing in schools, you may think in your mind, like if you're left leaning, that somehow you're alleviating something like, oh, thank goodness, this, this type of literature is now available. So that way these people won't feel uncomfortable anymore with their feelings. What this actually does, it's going to spread. It's going to sp it <laughs> let's, let's put it another way. Um, I don't believe anybody would wish for any of this, this sort of way of being actually on to a loved one. Now, I could be wrong. You might dislike that statement, but I think deep down... Until some sort of other alternative way of thinking is applied or taught, you know, or indoctrinated, I think most people instinctually, and I can say that with some degree of authority, because if we didn't have that instinct, we wouldn't be able to procreate. So most people statistically and instinctually are going to be attracted to the opposite sex. Otherwise, we'd all be dead by now, right? <laughs> Isn't that kind of like reality that we're in? So if you apply that type of thinking, that if, if this just happens on its own, and the majority of people figure it out on their own, then explain to me again why this is necessary. If, if your intention is, you know, there's no agenda. I mean, this is, you know, example 3,424 or something. I mean, it's... it's it's starting to pile up, you know, from sources such as uh, Libs of TikTok, which they themselves, or I should say her, <laughs> she's been attacked, right? Not like all the way, thank God, you know, but like verbally, uh, emotionally, through the press, you know, that ain't right, okay? When somebody tries to bring awareness to this, I've noticed that this movement literally tries to do everything they can, dox the person, go after them, find out where they, you know, all that stuff that puts that person in actual danger, as if when they claim that there needs to be safe spaces. <laughs> oh, yeah, you forgot to create a safe space for those that disagree with you. You know, you. <laughs> I, I can't believe it, it's like. We're supposed to, you know, one side's supposed to be tolerant of the other. Well, that side is intolerant. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> All right. I'm going to scroll down and read some of the quotes from the response uh, of the school board. But I need to do another edit point because I don't want to have to blur that and move it at the same time. Complex editing. I know. So I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So moving on. We'll get back to actual text. We don't re need to rely on pictures anymore, even though a picture is worth, unfortunately, in that case, a thousand leftist words. It's no surprise that parents have been outraged at the committee's decision to keep this pornographic book available for their children. We obtained a copy of an email Suzanne West sent to one concerned parent. The email provided official statements from committee members regarding their decision, and they are so unbelievably insane you have to read them yourself. I'm going to read them. <laughs> Book will be necessary to keep in schools to help be more inclusive and allow all students from the LGBTQ plus community to have a resource to refer to. In addition, the pages taken out of context do not represent the intention of the book and are only there to serve as an illustration to help provide understanding of what the author was trying to portray in their book. What? Is that not circular logic? Well, they're in there because that was the point that they're trying to make and that's why they're in there what <laughs> what do you mean what are you talking about they're <laughs> yeah this is where my my brain just kind of breaks apart a little bit which is part of the intention i know let's keep going the book expands on sexual orientation and gender identity which are both topics touched on in wellness uh, well <laughs> Look, again, it seems like the elephant is in the room and you're saying, it's just a little, little puppy or something. I mean, you're, you're kind of, 
how is that like not a uh, gross under exaggeration of what this is? The next one, it being a graphic novel makes the book more accessible to a variety of readers. I guess if you can't read, so like maybe even younger kids, I guess, I don't, I don't know. Is it, is, how am I supposed to infer that? If you're not intelligent enough to read, you still need to know about your gender and your identity and your orientation and all. <laughs> still need to know how to get off, you know? That's what we need to focus on as a society. It's just all sex, sex, sex. Why is our morality failing? Gee, I don't know. The book has won <laughs> a large number of teen-specific literary awards. Literary awards. And is on... And is own voices text, sorry, for a marginalized community. Inclusion in the library of the three high schools meets the district's goal for more inclusive and diverse materials. So again, it, does that mean that little Johnny gets to have a Playboy? You know, it used to be that you had to break into your dad's old uh, suitcase to find one, right? Or you, you had to look under the bed, or maybe it was between the mattress seats, or maybe it was your brother's, and he'll let you borrow it or something. I mean, there used to be this sort of hierarchical kind of access to that, you know, off-limits, risque type of material back in the day, you know? Nowadays, okay, nowadays, we have gone so far away from something that <laughs> by today's standards is pretty tame to all the way like porn in this case i would say fairly graphic porn or something that is at least enough to <laughs> it's pretty unquestionable what it showed okay and now we're just gonna put it right there in front of the youth i mean i it's like it's blowing my mind a little bit i'm gonna try to keep on going i'm sorry if i'm like uh, 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 but it you know, I get fired up about it because I am a parent. I do not feel comfortable with that being put forth. Not, I mean, sure. Is that in the state that... It, no, but look, overall, the movement seems to be pushing this. So, my concern. This graphic novel is very well done from a literary standpoint. It is an excellent example of a memoir. It includes many visual metaphors. It promotes literacy as does any book with words in it, and accessibility through the graphic format. Again, like, who is in these grades that this is in and then they can't read? It has modern language suitable to our students today. You notice the implication, like, it's, this is just, it's inevitable, so of course we have to have it there. No, it's not. It's not. That's why you're, like, getting videos like this. I am not the only one that feels like this. You know, look at the website I'm reading from. That's way bigger than my channel. They got tons and tons of people that happen to agree. Okay, so if you want to single me out and say, what is this guy on or whatever? No, okay, I'm common. All right, I'm, this is not uncommon to like react in this way. All right, last one, a well-written illustrated text. Important insights, insight, sorry, regarding gender identity. So what are we supposed to glean from this? You know, I, think, I, I guess it goes on a little bit more, but what are we supposed to infer if a movement such as this seems to put it so much in your face that there is no way to protect against it if you somehow feel um, that it could be damaging to, you know, what you believe in as a person, or particularly in this case as a parent. Like, we're in a society now that that's going to be forced. It's not just like, oh, a little bit. It's like, it reminds me of like when you're cooking a meal, right? I mean, you have to have the different ingredients in the right proportions, okay? Now, if you kind of can infer this metaphor, I would like to present, okay, that alternative lifestyles and thinking are inevitable on a planet with this many people. Okay, so hear me out. The recipe requires the right ingredients, right? Now, if you screw up just a little bit and you add too much of one thing, most people probably not going to notice. You know, oh, this seems a little spicier than usual. Oh, this seems a little sweeter than usual. Did you... Well, I don't really measure, you know. 
This sort of movement is not just a little bit of salt. All right, this movement is like if you unscrewed the cap of the salt and that nice whatever meal, I don't care if you're vegan, vegetarian, you know, full-on meat eater, and you just dump the whole salt right on there, all right, nobody's going to find that palatable over time. Right, so if you find that your gut instinct is like, yeah, I, I guess I get it, what are you saying? Follow your instincts, all right? Like, don't go against what we see around us is like reality, okay? And notice that we don't need to twist it into something new for like a whole new generation and just kind of experiment on that. We don't need to do that. There's no reason to. <laughs> Things were going fine for a long time. And just recently, it's like this spiraling kind of out of control thing. And so, yes, there is valid concern. If you want to call me right wing, whatever. But there is valid concern, all right, from parents over this. It's, it's not the first time you've had content in a, in a child's library that, you know, might be questionable. But this is a continuing trend. It's, it's like, here's the different vectors, and they're all kind of going in one direction. And so that does not seem inclusive, <laughs> okay, unless you already agree with it. You know, if, you, if you're kind of uneasy about it, it can seem pretty divisive. Well, thanks for watching. That's all I got for this one. Let me know in the comments. Are you a parent? Do you appreciate this sort of thing being inserted in school? Do you think it's a, a free speech issue? You know, do you think it should be reserved for private schools only? You know, I mean, if somebody wants to spend $20,000 to go to a private school, would that, you know, then be okay to have? Because then you could argue, well, it's not really a free speech issue. We just don't feel like we should be supporting this sort of thing with tax dollars. See, I'm trying to think in legal ways here. All right, let me know what you guys think of this. And as always, press the subscribe button, press the like button, press the notification bell. Is that why my video pops up in your algorithm, whatever it is. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.